Jim from Advanced Performance Shooting. And in our second video of the week, tying off our hot topic of standards and training, I wanted to illustrate the difference between an objective standard and a subjective standard as best I could. I chose the Gila Hayes 5x5 drill for a couple different reasons. Greg Elfritz talked about it in one of his blog posts earlier in the week, and Lucky Gunner did a video on it this week using a Claude Warner example of shooting that drill five times in a row to take away any luck factor that might be involved. Three, three, seven. Two, eight, five. Two, eight, seven. Two, seven, five. Two, nine, three. My five is a fairly objective standard, right up until we introduce the shooter. I also chose to present from the holster rather than from a low ready, another subjective standard assigned to that. I chose the TPC 5-inch circle that doesn't have the center aiming point, and I've changed a portion of the objective standard. Another way we often see the difference between objective and subjective changes, I can illustrate with the TPC 3-inch circle where there's five of them on the same sheet. We'll keep the same objective standard at five yards, the same objective standard of five shots, you know, and five seconds. Four zero two Three eight six four zero four three nine three by five in and of itself as an objective standard when when I changed the size of the target to a three inch circle it became very much more subjective to my particular skill sets if we introduce that to the wrong student or introduce it to the right student at the wrong time then that whole training to standards thing potentially bites somebody in the neck it doesn't do them any good it might actually do some damage another way we can illustrate the difference between the objective and the subjective is to completely change the standard or to make it arbitrary, if you will, from the very beginning. Two, nine, two. Two, seven, five. Two six nine. Two five five. Three one four. So in that last example. I actually blended 
two different standards, if you will. I made the one standard completely subjective at that point. Still five yards, still five shots, but I took the time standard that I know I am capable of on the five inch circles and I, and I assigned that to the three inch circles. And I said five yards, five shots, three seconds, pushing that time for that level of accuracy. And I threw a miss on every single string until I finally possess a discipline enough to slow down and get my hits, and I came in slightly over time. I think that to be an effective trainer, whether it's for ourselves or if it's for other people, we have to understand the difference between objective standards and subjective standards and how to best, where to best apply those in our particular training programs.